11.05 a.m. East Coast time. Good morning. Good morning. It's a gorgeous day. It's like 80 degrees. There's not a cloud in the sky. And I'm playing Water Boy again. Watered last night for several hours, and you can't really tell. It's actually not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as my neighbor's houses. But still, it's not up to Schultz spec. So um, we'll see where we can get this over the next several days. I actually need to run back to the woods and check out the pump and make sure we're not too low. So I'm going to throw some shoes on and see how much water I have to work with. This actually looks pretty healthy back here. I expected it to be a lot lower, but uh, it's really not bad. So I've got, from the looks of things, a couple inches, I think, I can continue to pump. I really need to get boots on come back here check it out, but I think we're good for today anyways, and I'll probably put down eight hours worth today. Friggin' right, like a champ. 1.21 p.m., back from um, NTV. I was over there for about an hour and a half, I think. I had him put that new tire on the uh, rear driver's side. That is done, check. I had him torque the bolts down here that I didn't do right last night, check. I had this front wheel swapped out, check. Had everything aligned, check. And new front brake rotors, check. Only $107. I guess I had paid for some of that before when I bought the tires. So, hopefully, hopefully that's done. As you know, I've been working with that wheel now for like four months. And I keep talking about it. So now it's, it's finally gotten done. It's the 2nd of July, 2012. It's a beautiful day. Again, we got one big cloud up there now, but everything else is, is pretty blue. So I've kind of got four yards that need to be done. I don't really know, though. Like, there's just, see that? Some of this has grown and a lot of it hasn't. It really needs water back here too, but I'm gonna focus on the front for a couple days, as I've said before, so I'm gonna let that go and, uh, and water now from 11 to two, and then I'll move them around. And I'm not really tired. I only got maybe five hours of sleep, but I feel good right now. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna go over there and mow in a little bit. The front's not bad at all, but the back I can see from here is a little high. So, um, I'll do that, and then hopefully catch dinner with the grandparents tonight. I haven't seen them for two weeks. All right, boys, 91 degrees out here, just hotter as frig, and uh, you guessed it, still watering. I just went inside and messed with the Mac for like two hours. I had all the vlogs to back up, like 20 vlogs that I had to put in the right folders, all the pictures that I had to, had to have backed up. So I just, I think I just backed up 75 gigs of stuff that I created over the past two and a half weeks. But the yard is getting better. I'm already starting to see it's growing a little bit and it's greened up quite a bit over here. So I think I've got the last position done for today or I could do one after that. It's uh, 510 now I'm gonna head downtown for dinner. Um, so I'll let these go till about eight or nine. I'm gonna water heavy here and then maybe I'll do one more set tonight and resume tomorrow morning. I am just gonna freaking pump that creek dry. Okay then, time to go to dinner, and it's too hot to have windows down. 91, when I'm just showered and dressed and ready to go eat somewhere nice, it's air conditioning time. Can you guys see how much this, this uh, Subaru Outback is shaking? I'm trying to hold the camera as still as I can on the steering wheel, but oh my gosh, the whole left side of the car looks like it's going up and down an inch at a time. And I wish I could film the exhaust, but I, I don't think I can quite see it. But this whole car is shaking. Who buys a Subaru? All right, guys, uh, 6.43. It's a hot one today. We're at 99 degrees. And I didn't get my camera out in time, but there was a black GTR leaving the parking lot, and it left with a bit of a show. It sounds so bad, and it looks so bad, but I understand it is so fast. Anyways, maybe the backdrop looks familiar. Maybe it doesn't. Looks like this. It's Taylor neighborhood, or it will be after I make a right down here. But I haven't seen him in two weeks, and he's bored, and his car battery's dead, so I'm coming over here to pick him up, and I don't know what we're doing, but chances are I'll film it. What are we here? It's a Volkswagen product. Oh no! It's a Porsche! Come on, buddy. All ten cylinders. What do you think? Sounds good. This is the first time you've been Sounds in one of my good. vlogs for a while. Sounds good for a Porsche. Sounds, yeah, it does sound good for a Porsche. Usually I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the 911. Just, it's too airy. There's so much air in it. Yeah. I, well, they're great cars. Power, I love 911s, but they're so airy. But uh, that, that's the V10, which sounds a little better. Beautiful CLK 63 AMG. It's actually on. 
right now. Yeah, the guy left it on, so I don't want to go too close because I can see he's watching me from the window. Yeah, they're they're uh, vented and slotted, or drilled, drilled and slotted. Uh, I don't see slotted. Yeah, there's slots on the rotors. That's that's a really fast car, but I I can't get past the front styling. Yeah. 12:18 in the morning. Now on the third. Uh, watered all day. It's quiet now, so I'm done. I just uh, turned them off about 11:50, so that's done. Um, more tomorrow. I've never really had to water the back before, but it's so dry I'm gonna have to start doing that, as well as the side, which is almost as big as my front yard. So that's what's going on with that. I think I told you before the car is all done. I just did kind of a in-between wash cleanup. I went over all the wheels, I had to clean the tires. You know when they mount tires, they get that goopy uh, mounting stuff all over, like this part. So that's all clean, got the tire shine on there, looking snazzy. Brakes feel really good. Not really any different than before, except they don't squeak now, which is nice. And that's all set. So that's really all I have to say today. Um, very productive. I don't really know what's going on. I'm not running on very much sleep. I'm not tired at all. And it's 12 in the morning, but that's only 9.18 body time. I don't know if I've... I don't know what my deal is with, with time zone changes. Some people are really good. Some people take days. And then there's me. I, three hours of sleep takes me like two or three days. At least I think so. So that's it. I can talk for 10 minutes, but I won't waste your lives. So I'll talk to you tomorrow on the 3rd. Good night.